as I was saying, why your life is in so much turmoil is because you're rebelling. It's a rebellious house. The more you rebel against God, the more the devil comes in. The less you feel of his presence. Do you understand? He said, if you would turn to me and go back to what I call you to do and step into your purpose, you will experience all the things you experienced before again and better. And you'll realize your purpose. But if you don't, he said he's going to come and take your candlestick off the top of the nightstand. You hear me? It's for somebody. God wants you to go forward. Go backwards in order to go forward again. Learn. Pick up that Bible again. Start spreading what I told you to spread. Take that worldly music out of your house. Replace it with the gospel. You understand? Go back to the basics. I call you for something. And I want you to do it. But if you don't, you're going to fall victim back to the world. You're going to fall back to the world. And the thing is, I'm going to show you where you're falling short. Do you understand me? God loves you. He loves all his children. His chosen. He wants his chosen back from the world. He don't want his chosen to be a part of the world. He wants his chosen to be a light and a lamp to all those he send their way. I'm telling you how to watch movies. You ever watch Hollywood stars and people who made money? And when they first started, they used to give so much glory to God. And then after a while, after the riches increased, they started giving less and less glory to God and less and less glory to men. And less and less and more and more glory to themselves. I've done this by my own hands. I am the great Jehovah. That was a coded message right there. I am Jesus. You understand? You see, don't take that term, you are God's likely. You are who God works through. You are not a God. No man or woman on this earth is my God. I can't see my God and I love it that way. I can't put a statue.